we have the four questions that you need to ask the agent that you are interviewing right here, right now. Let's get started right after this. Hey everybody, it's Jared Chamberlain here in the Chamberlain Real Estate Group Studios. Dun, da, da, da. It is a great day. And today we are talking about the four questions that you want to ask an agent when you're interviewing them. This is not necessarily agents that uh, in our office, this is agents period. If you are planning on buying or selling a home, there are some key questions that you want to ask uh, to be able to find out how they work. What are they going to offer? How are they going to help you? And how are you going to succeed with working with this agent? Now, I'm going to go through the four questions here today, but if you want, oh, oh, there it is, <laughs> that PDF, if you want a link to this, um, where we actually, I'm looking at over here, where we actually have the questions. We have hints to look for, uh, ways to engage the agent when you're talking to them. Drop a comment below and comment with the word interview. If you comment with that word interview, uh, we will see it. We will send you a direct message with the link to this PDF and, uh, and we're going we're gonna to go for it. So let's jump in, let's dive in, and let's start talking about these four questions. So the first question we got is, do you make all your income through real estate sales or other sources of income for you? So this question is an interesting one uh, and I'm not knocking on part-time agents. That is not what this is about. What this is about is, is you understanding their motivations, how they're going to work, how available are they, and are they all in? Because sometimes in real estate, not sometimes, being an agent in real estate is tough. It can be all consuming. There are weird hours and you want to know that if you put an offer in, uh, are they going to be around to be able to do this and help you out full time? I know for us in our brokerage and in our team, everyone's full time. This is what we do. And so having that uh, strength behind you is really, really key. So there are some incredible part-time agents that I've worked with over the years uh, on the other side of a transaction and, and negotiations and all that kind of stuff and fantastic people and they're really good at what they do. Uh, I've also met new agents coming in the market where they love their job so much they just want to do this on the side. That's okay. But what I want you to know is ask that question be aware and understand where they're coming from. All right. Question number two. If I was to search for you or your team or your brokerage, your brand, whatever it is online, where would you be found? And the second part is if we were to list our home with you, where would it be found? How will buyers find it? This is a really interesting question and something that you need to understand when you're engaging with a realtor and starting to work with them. Here's why. If you can't find their brand, if you can't find them, if you can't find listings online, how are buyers going to find your house? Yes, it's going to go on the MLS and yes, it's going to get pushed out to lots of different places, but how is a buyer going to directly come to you and your agent, get the information, the correct information and be able to find, be found online. Uh, and so you want, you want ease of find this, of searchability. <laughs> you, you want it to be easy. You want them to be able to find you uh, as a listing, as a seller and, and for the agent, they need to be found easy. So that's really the biggest thing there is ask them, and this is going to help you understand a little bit, little bit of their savviness of marketing, because if they're having a hard time marketing themselves, how are they going to market your house? I'm just going to leave that there. So that's, that's something that you got to consider and you got to think about. Question number three. All right. Question number three, what areas do you primarily work in? If, you, if it's an area that you don't know well, um, or it's an area that um, you've never really worked in, what kind of research are you typically going to go through to help you understand the market that that home is in? Now, this could be for a buying, this could be for selling, all those kind of things. But the thing here, the key that you want to be able to look for, this is not necessarily saying that uh, working with the area specialist, the one that markets to you all the time, is the best opportunity and the best option for you. What I am saying is that if an agent 
doesn't have a process and doesn't know how to do quality research in an area, um, that's something you need to know. Ask them about that. They're going to be able to tell you quickly if they have a process. If I was walking into an area that I didn't know about, I know exactly how I would research it. I know what stats I'm looking for. I know what kind of pr uh, properties. How am I going to compare it? What am I going to present to you as a client? I know that. My team knows that. That is what we do. If you're working, an agent who has a referral business is going all over the city. And so sometimes working with an area specialist who has marketing in the area and says they know the area the best, they might, but they might not be the best fit for you. So consider this uh, when, when you're dealing with uh, agents and you're interviewing agents. That is question number three. Now question number four is how do you focus on adding value rather than cutting commission? Again, super interesting question to ask. You're going to foster a very fantastic conversation by asking this question. Now, why this is a different question, I was never been asked this question, but why I'm presenting it to you in, in that it is a good question to ask, even if you are looking for the best deal, even if you're looking for the cheapest commission out there, you want to know how is someone going to add value to the relationship? What is their plan? What are they trying to do um, to add value to the conversation, to the relationship, to the transaction of the buy and the sell, all that kind of stuff. You want to know what they believe, what they're going to do, how they're going to do it. This is going to really cut through the... Um, I can't think of the right phrase, but it's going to cut through all the crap and it's just going to go straight home. It's just going to basically bring you right home and say, here's how I'm adding value. Here's what I can do for you. And then you're, and then you're going to be able to hear and understand exactly what that person is saying. You can negotiate commissions, talk about it, figure it out. But asking this question is going to really help understand their position, their strengths, what they're good at, and what they're going to offer to you in the relationship that you are going through. So again, this, these were and are the four questions that you should be asking an agent when you're interviewing them and you're trying to decide who you're going to work with. If you want a copy of this PDF with hints, things to look for, ways to figure it out, as well as links to download our full moving up guide, uh, comment below in this video, interview, the word interview, and, uh, and we will see that. We will DM you back with the link and we will get that to you. All right, that's what I have. We'll talk to you guys later. We will see you. Have a great rest of your day. Ow.